Hey everybody, welcome to Downhill Backyard Gardening. Today I want to make dilly beans. The weather's bad outside, can't get out there in the garden right now, so this is a great thing to do inside with green beans that you might have already picked, or if you went to the store and bought some and you just want to make your own dilly beans, stick around, I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so right off the bat, you're going to need a bunch of ingredients. I'm going to list them all right here for you. And this is a recipe I found online for pickling that I used last year for doing cucumbers. That I thought, why not try it with the green beans today and make my own dilly beans. Right so you're going to want to wash your green beans, make sure you get all the dirt off of them, sit them off to the side. And then what I like to do is prep my ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and fill up these ramekins right here with the required ingredients and sit them off to the side. As you can see right here, I'm filling each of these ramekins with a teaspoon of dill seed, yellow mustard seed, black peppercorns, and coriander seed, along with a couple to three sprigs of fresh dill. I've got the water boiling, or starting to boil, and then we're gonna go into talking about the canning process. Okay, for dilly beans, because we're going to be using vinegar as part of the brine, we do not have to pressure cook these dilly beans. All we have to do is water bath them, which is a lot easier than pressure cooking, for real. So there's not a lot to it, but the steps are very important. So here we go. When preparing the jars, what I like to do is put the lids without touching them in a pot of, of hot water. And what that's going to do is it's going to loosen up the seal just a little bit. So when you're ready to put these on the jars, they'll seal better. At least that's what I've always done. I know some people don't do that but that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna let that get really hot. We're just gonna watch it. Once the jar lids are warm, I'm gonna set them off to the side and just wait until it's time to use them. Okay, let's make the brine. The brine is really simple. It's gonna be four cups of water, four cups of distilled white vinegar. All right, half a cup of salt. Now you can use the pink salt, you can use the normal white iodine salt. I like the Himalayan salt, so that's what I'm using. Now that that's mixed, we're going to put it on the stove, get it to boiling, stirring in the salt. And then y'all, we're about ready to rock and roll on this. Okay, while we're waiting on the brine to boil, we're going to do the last step of preparation. And that's to take care of your garlic and your onions for this recipe. And in one of the jars, I'm going to put fresh jalapenos in to give it a little spice. And honestly, I've never put the jalapenos in with the dilly beans before, so one try it. I think it'll work. I've already washed them. I'm going to actually leave some of the seeds in because I want it to be spicy to a point. So I'm going to put probably the majority of that in the bottom of one of these jars. This recipe calls for a, for a few slices of onion to go in the jar also. We're not gonna go too crazy here on the onion. We're talking like just a few onions at the bottom, nothing crazy. And the recipe calls for two garlic cloves in each jar. Now that the garlic is done, the jalapenos are done, the onions are done, now we're just waiting for the bottles to get done. We're going to start packing them up with the ingredients and getting them back in the water bath. So, and in fact, here we go. You want to make sure that you have a type of tong to be able to put your jars into the water bath and then to be able to take them out. You can see what I'm doing right here. I've already washed these once, but we're going to go ahead and sit them in the water to let them start getting nice and warm and used to this heat. Just going to sit the jars in. Nice and slow. You don't want that water to splash back up, back on you. And you want to make sure the water level is just above the top of the jars, like it is right there. Now, I probably need to add more water to that, honestly. But there we go. Now, I usually leave those jars in the water for about five minutes. Ten minutes, five to ten minutes, just to let them get warm. Once, it's, once they're warm enough and you know they're sterile, take them out and sit them on a dish rag. Do not take your hot jars and sit them on the countertop. I'm not saying that it'll crack the jars, but the countertop is cool. 
the jars are hot, so you definitely want a barrier there. So a clean washcloth or a dish rag, something like that is what you want to sit the jars on once they're ready. Taking them out of the pressure cooker, you want to drain the water out really, really slowly. You do not want this water coming back and getting you. So trust me, really, really slow. Very, very hot, <laughs> to say the least. So again, nice, slow, just pour them out, set them off to the side, just like that. Once you take them out of the water, you want to get them stuffed full of your dilly beans, your ingredients, your brine, get them sealed and get them back in that water bath. So the lids are done. We're gonna set them off to the side, turn off the burner, and then we'll come back to get those when we need them. Okay, so the jars are ready. We're gonna go ahead and dump in the ingredients. All of that. I'm gonna put some of the onion in, like I mentioned. Two to three cloves of the garlic. And it's really important that when you start to put the green beans in, that you pack them in as tightly as you can. In fact, on this one, we'll go ahead and put the jalapenos in also at the bottom. But you want to pack in the green beans super, super tight. You want to try to keep you want to try to keep all the air, as much of the air out as you can as you pack in your green beans. So even though I said you got to kind of do this quickly, this does take a little bit of time because you want to try to get them all in. And if the beans are too long, like some of these are a little too long, then you're just going to have to break them as you get them down, down in there. And remember, you don't really want to do what I just did a minute ago, and that's sit this warm jar on the countertop. The jar has been out of the pressure cooker for a couple minutes because I wanted it to cool down so I could really try to show this the proper way. But if you would, if I had taken them straight out of the pressure cooker and put it on the counter like I just did, that was probably going to be a blooper reel for real. And I don't need blooper reels with glass. So again, you're just trying to pack these in as much as you can. Fill up all the space. And as you see, I've been breaking some. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. You need a headspace at the top of the jar. So cracking them, it's not that bad of a deal. About a half an inch of headspace is where you want it to be at the top. That's about as... Packed in there as I can get them. Oh, look at that. I just got another one in there. <laughs> and then we are just going to fill this up. Like that. Remember, you want to leave about a half an inch of headspace at the very top. About like that right there. Now these are sticking up a little bit, but that's all right. I'm gonna put just a little bit more in. Just about like that. I'm not gonna go any higher than that. Now we're gonna take our lid, sit it on like so, and we're gonna turn the knob. We're gonna turn it, and you don't wanna crank it on. What you wanna do is get it tight and then go just about a half turn more, just like that. That's it. This is ready to go. Went ahead and finished the other two jars. Once both of them have their lids on nice and light, like I showed earlier, it's time for them to get into but the water. They're ready. The water's boiling. We're going to sit them in. You need about a half an inch of water above the lid. We're going to let them boil for about 10 minutes. Okay, we have about three minutes left. And you can see all the air bubbles coming out. That's perfectly normal, and that's exactly what you want to see. So we'll be back in about three minutes, and then we're pretty much done. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and remove them. Now, again, you do not, do not sit these on the countertop. 
That would be a very, very bad thing to do. You want to try to get the water off the lid as best you can. And what I'll do here in a minute is I'll come back over with a paper towel just to get the water off the lid. I'm going to turn this water off. All we're waiting on now, y'all, are for the cans to pop. You will hear a, an audible pop and you will actually see the lid go down when the canning process is done. All right, everyone, that's the video. It's very easy, very simple, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. If nothing else, try canning green beans. Now, I have a video where I actually canned green beans just canning them that I'll put a link to right here. But canning the green beans this way, dillying them up, pickling them up, so to speak, um, it's just another fun way to use a vegetable in a different manner. Everyone, if you all enjoyed this video, do me a favor, share it, like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have all of you join all of us in this continued journey of gardening together. Everyone take care, God bless, and I'll talk to y'all again real soon. Bye. Go in the jar also. So I'm trying not to cut myself. But canning the green bean, but canning the green bean, bean beans, but canning the green beans this way,